Hello everybody, I am M.M. M. Naik Kode Advocate from Dharwad, Karnataka. Today I am going to give a brief lecture on the topic that is Suit for Recovery of Possession. As you know, Suit for Recovery of Possession has to be filed before a civil court and the source for such a suit is Section 5 of the Specific Relief Act, which provides that a specific removable property is to be recovered as per the provision of the Civil Procedure Code, and it is also a common law remedy. Now, let us know who can file the suit. A person who is a owner of the property, either he may be titled having title or he may have derived his title from his father or parents or ancestors etc or a person who is having a possessory title can file suit for recovery of possession. Now the third aspect is against whom this suit is filed. The person who is in wrongful possession either as a trespasser or otherwise, this suit will lie. Now, whether the notice is necessary before filing the suit, sometimes it may be necessary, but otherwise it is not necessary to file and to issue any such notice before filing the suit. The fourth aspect concerning is that where it should be filed. It should be filed where the suit property is situated, that is territorial jurisdiction as per section 16 of the CPC. Then comes what is the pecuniary jurisdiction pertaining to this type of suit. It depends upon value of the property. If the value of the specific immovable property is more than 5 lakhs, then the case have to be filed before has to be filed before senior division court if the value of the property is below 5 lakhs then it has to be filed before civil judge junior division court now what is the ingredients of this uh, suit the plaintiff has to file has to plead and prove that he is the owner of the suit property by way of title or other modes and he has to plead and prove that in he whether he is having a possessory title and secondly he has to plead and prove that the opposite party that is the defendant is the trespasser or is in living in a unlawful property belonging to him so what is the date of the cause of action has to be mentioned when the cause of action arose has to be mentioned in the suit as apart from the other necessary ingredient in the plaint. Then comes the fifth aspect is pertaining to the limitation to file the suit. So here the suit has to be filed within 12 years as per article 65 of the limitation act when the position of the defendant becomes adverse to the plaintiff, then two or less limitation commences. So what if the plaintiff, what will be the effect if the plaintiff fails to uh, fail to get the position, fail to get uh, file suit for position within two years. Section 27 of the limitation acts is after prescribed period that is 12 years as per article 65 the right to recover the position is extinguished so this is the effect of not getting recovering position uh, of property from the such person then then the next question comes is after effect of such thing what will uh, what right accrues to the defendant the defendant get a right to claim 
एडवर्स पोजिशन और ही मे इवन फाइल ए सूट फॉर ओनरशिप ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ एडवर्स पोजिशन तो दिस इज द इफेक्ट ऑफ नॉन फाइल नॉट फाइलिंग द सूट फॉर पोजिशन विद इन प्रिस्क्राइब लिमिटेशन पीरियड सो वॉट इज द कोड फी ऑफ दिस एज पर द प्रोविजन ऑफ द कर्नाटका कोड फीस एंड सूट वैल्यूशन एक्ट एड ओलर फीस हैज टू बी पेड एंड इट इज डिपेंड अपॉन द मार्केट वैल्यू ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी और द वैल्यू ऑफ द सेल डीट बट इट इज ए एडोलरम कोड फी हैज टू बी मेड देन अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट कम इज इफ द डिफेंडेंट कम्स एंड मेक ए डिफेंस एंड हेज स्टेट डिनाइड द टाइटल ऑफ दिस प्लेटेड देन द डिक्लेरेशन प्रेयर हैज टू बी मेड has to be the plaintiff has to be amended and plain plaintiff has to raise a another prayer that is a suit a declaration that he is owner of the suit property etc then this suit for recovery position is a different from the other mode of recovery position so a person who is a landlord he can also take position from the tenant and either in the rent loss or if it rent loss are not applicable then under the provision of the transfer of property act a suit between licensor and licensee is a different context and a suit by the mortgage or against the mortgagee is a different context so this suit for recovery of im specific immovable property is a different contest and it is filed under section 5 of the limitation act and the procedure for such is as prescribed in the cpc hence this my brief lecture please do like my lecture and subscribe me so that you can receive again and again a notification and my future lecture hence this lecture